Rachel Holt for Nesson Fuel, joined by Kurt Busch via Skype, driver of the number 41 Ford Fusion for Stuart Haas Racing. Kurt, thanks for being here. Hey, it's good to talk to you guys and uh, good to see you through the Skype here. Now, this is obviously a very busy week for you in the days leading up to the Daytona 500. What are you doing to prepare? Well, there's different media events, different sponsor events, uh, but most importantly, the track time. Once we get out on track, that's the main focus and making sure that our Ford is dialed in and we get all the important notes for the big Great American Race on Sunday. I mean, we, it's like doing homework. You got to be prepared before you get to the big dance. Well, we appreciate you letting us take away from your track time and getting to speak with you in here. Now, uh, as a competitive and skilled driver, you haven't won the Daytona 500 yet. How much does this weigh on you heading into Sunday? I'd choose that to you a little bit. I mean, winning this race is like winning a championship uh, with the prestige, the history, the value of it. And I've been second three times. I've been close, but it's a matter of just finding the, the moment at the end to capitalize on that clutch moment. And I've got to do a better job if, uh, if I'm going to bring home the trophy. You and the other drivers will have to get used to a number of rule changes this year now. You crashed out of class. You weren't able to continue driving in that one. How do you think this new rule will play out all season long? I feel like you just have to race smart, race hard, and you don't want to get halfway through the year and not have bonus points. So you want to accumulate them when you can. Uh, you can't take too many risks, though, and end up losing more points versus the small, minimal ones for uh, the, the segment wins. So instead of 40 points being up for grabs, 60 are now, and you got to do the best job to average it out. Another thing to get used to, Stuart Haas Racing, moving from Chevy to Ford. How has that transition period been like? Oh, it's been great. It's been seamless. Uh, we started working on building Fords for Daytona back in October. Uh, and then our downforce stuff uh, and the short track cars that we'll be racing in the next few weeks, those are coming together now. And we got to get through the, the West Coast run of Vegas, Phoenix, and California Speedway. Once we get through those three, there's a week off. Uh, and then we can get things settled up on what we're going to do for uh, the spring. Hey, in your personal life, you've had to get used to the transition of becoming a husband. You recently got married in January. What's that been like? Have you had some time to enjoy being a newlywed yet? Oh, it's been fantastic uh, to have Ashley in my life and to share the racing side. And then she's a competitor as well. She's played uh, professional polo the last 10 years. It's neat to work with her and her team and to see the team camaraderie there and she knows competition. She knows uh, how my emotions work. I know how her emotions work. And have, we have a solid foundation in sports, and it's great to bridge off of that into the next chapter of our life. I imagine it's not the easiest sport to watch loved ones in. Say you get in a crash, what's her reaction always? Um, I would say that racing's safer than riding the horses. I've got a roll cage helmet and all of my uh, safety foam that uh, helps me absorb the energy. Uh, for her, I'm very worried about her out on the out on the field, but she's smart. She makes good decisions. I try to as well when you're out on the track, and if you're continuously trying to make good, smart decisions, you'll find uh, better outcomes. You're sponsored by Monster Energy, which is now NASCAR's title sponsor. What can we expect out of them this year as a title sponsor? Well, Monster's a lot of fun. Uh, of course, they bring energy with them uh, in their drinks, but just the overall atmosphere of what they do around the events uh, with other entertainment values, concerts, uh, different promotional events. And I'm just hopeful to uh, bl blend that uh, as a Monster Energy guy into the sport and to have all of NASCAR benefit from this move. I think it's good uh, TV wise here at the track and for all of the new fans that will come to our sport because of it. Now something that's been in the news with them, the new Monster Energy Girls outfits, they haven't been popular with everyone. Uh, what do you say to the people that have been critical of them so far? Uh, this is nothing new. It's been part of the DNA of Monster for years. Uh, they've been at the track the last three, four years. And so it's, it's just a, it's a moment for the media to jump on and to write about, and uh, it'll soon pass. Okay, in the next few days, what's the most important thing for you and your team to focus on and ensure that you can get that win out there? Uh, we want to be able to make sure our car is dialed in setup wise to be able to hold it wide open and to be able to draft comfortably whether we're up front uh, whether we're uh, conserving our tires for the next pit stop we just want to have a nice smooth uh, set of practice sessions a smooth qualifying race and then to attack in the great american race and win this daytona 500. when you're behind the wheel on sunday is there something that you always tell yourself to get yourself pumped up or ready for the race 
Uh, there's something my dad instilled in me in my first ever race, and that was to focus and to have a strategy when you're out there. And so even if your strategy goes out the window, you, you got to find a new one. You got to stay focused and get that next strategy to work your way towards the front and to hold the lead and to win it. Well, Kurt, we're wishing you the best of luck. We'll be watching you on Sunday. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate you having me on.